welcome to this video. Today, we will see an interesting example based on the construction of quadrilateral. The teacher in a class asks the students to construct a quadrilateral ABCD, where AD equals 7 cm, BC equals 5.5 cm, CD equals 6 cm. Angle C equals 120 degrees and the angle D is equal to 45 degrees. Which side can students start using as a base to start the construction? Explain which of the given options is correct. Let's see. Some children think that if the name of the quadrilateral is ABCD, so, the side AB should be used as the base to start the creation. So, they choose option 1. But, it is a wrong understanding. In the given question, the measurement of the side AB is not given. We cannot create it without measurement. Therefore, we cannot consider AB as the base. Thus, option 1 is an incorrect answer. On this basis, we can say that option 2 is also a wrong answer. The correct answer is option 3. Friends, in the question given to us, we know the measurements of these three sides of the quadrilateral and the two angles between them. We can start the creation by considering any one of these three sides CD, BC and AD as the base. If we consider the side CD as the base, then by creating angles C and D, can construct the adjacent sides of CD. Draw an arc by taking C as a centre and value of arc radius 5.5 cm that will intersect CY at point B. Similarly, by also marking point A, we can construct quadrilateral ABCD. In the second case, we can take BC as the base and construct angle C. Draw an arc with C at the centre 6 cm radius, which will intersect CP at point D. Now, construct the angle QDC. Draw an arc of radius 7 cm by taking D as a centre, which will intersect DQ at point A. In this way, the quadrilateral ABCD will be formed by joining the points A and B. In the same way, it is possible to construct a quadrilateral in the third position. We can see that we are getting the same quadrilateral in every situation. We can say that in that case, when we know the measurements of the three sides of the quadrilateral and the two angles between them. Then, we can start the construction by considering any one of these three sides as the base. So, the correct answer to the given question is option 3. So, today, we saw an interesting example related to the construction of a quadrilateral when measure of its three sides and angles between them is given. Thank you.